the evening. Everyone. Look at that. Look at that shit. Cope Wintergreen, baby. That it's just too good. Like I always say, if you know, you know. If you don't, don't sweat it. But this shit is a fucking bomb, baby. If you like snuff. It's funny, you can always tell a Copenhagen, a Copenhagen product. I find, because uh, Copenhagen has a very unique taste, you know, across, basically across all of their products that I've tried. It's very old school. It's very salty, you know what I mean? But not, like, unpalatably so. It's it's just, they're very, they're very uh, robust, salty tasting snuffs. And very, very good. The mint, whoa. As, 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 uh, I've expressed a number of times, the, the blue, the winter greens, the green mint, or whatever. I love. The blue mint is probably my favorite across the board. Like, when we're talking any sauce, you know. That's kind of how it goes. Blue mint. Winter green mint, and goes from there. And uh, yeah, the fucking Cop Copenhagen blue blue peppermint mint is like, like it's got that that Copenhagen old school saltiness, but it's like fucking blamo on the peppermint. It's like fucking toothpaste, you know. It's awesome. It's super good if you like that kind of thing. You know, I'll say, I'll say, uh, you know, through my recent snuffing adventures, through the good graces of beautiful and wonderful Hillary Thompson, uh, this brand, Bobby Stoker, everything I've had by these guys is the best I've ever had. You know, the cut on it, the fucking, like, like, oh, like, like, look at that. Just pick that out of the can without even packing it. And I'm, oh, it's just so good. Um, yeah, the cut, the, 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 the strength, the, the taste of it, like, the, oh, it's just so fucking good. But uh, I'm just going off. I'm very tired. I only slept like almost sort of an hour last night. I'm still wearing the same shirt I've worn for the last four videos. Uh, it's clean. I'm not. I'm not a dirty guy. I'm dirty, but I'm not. I'm not dirty. Um, I'm just yeah, kind of about snuff really right now. Cause uh, God damn, this is good. Oh. Mm. Sorry. It's right. I'm in a moment. Here. But um <clears throat> it's been a banner day for Dirty Pat Walsh. It's been a fucking five star fucking day. Let me just tell you. You know, I've had so many good things happen today. So much uh love between my people and me, you know, uh, even, even getting the news that my, my friend, uh, has been diagnosed with a terminal illness, you know, seeing him and talking to him about it, 
he was in such good, he was like, fuck, I don't care. I've, I feel better than I felt in all century, you know, so. Or, you know, and by century, like, he doesn't mean since the last 18 years. He means, he, I think he says something, again, like, I feel better than I felt since I was in my 20s or something like that, you know. The guy's in his 70s now. So, and even then, he was at the. He's like, you know, I've had a good run. I've had a great life, you know. So, that's why I admire these people, you know. Fucking the face of fucking despair, and they're fucking still cranking out the music and. Doing the good work, you know. That was pretty awesome. And, uh, oh, I had other stuff to tell you, too. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel as of late. I really appreciate your support. I really, really appreciate your support, you know. Uh, it's taken. Fuck, it's taken almost two years to get from then until this moment right now, you know. Uh, it's great. It's been, you know, and it's funny. You know, like, I'm so grateful for all the subscribers and the support that I get and the comments and everything, you know. But, uh, and it's funny because I just, I, it's, it never ceases to baffle me, you know, how... Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still fighting to break fucking a hundred subs, you know, after two years, I guess, almost, or something like that. And I put out content all the time, you know, like, I put out, like, be it good or bad or whatever you think of it, I'm still, still throwing it out there, you know. And, you know, I watch a lot of shit on YouTube, and, <coughs> sorry, that was, like, the longest spit ever, um, and I don't, I just don't understand how people are interested in what they're interested in, or whatever, you know, but, but, I don't, I'm just, I'm thinking out loud, really, right now. But it's gone. It's, uh, it, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for everything. All the good, beautiful things that have happened since I started this YouTube channel. You know, like, uh, like the fucking Bone Daddy microphones. You know, I was showing them off to my roommate just a minute ago. Can't remember what to put them. Oh, yeah. But man, I test I test drove these a little while ago. I won't do it now because my roommate's upstairs trying to wind down for the evening. But uh, and these fucking scream, baby. This little this little motherfucker here is like the best. The oh, if you want a fucking screaming screaming heart, Mike. Get one of these. Get up on Facebook. Contact Bone Daddy in Texas. And get one of these motherfuckers right here. Because it'll satisfy all the squall you ever wanted. You know. I'd say the same about this little this guy too. The first mic that he sent me. The little red screamer. The tube... Serious. He makes all these in his shack, eh? Like, makes them by hand, you know? Look at that. Look at the craftsmanship. It's phenomenal. You know, and this, and this microphone is just on aesthetics alone is a pure work of fucking art. Like, this is made from an old uh, tea strainer. You know what I mean? Like, this, you'd fill this with tea and make a pot of tea for 
whatever, you know, and it's, uh, and now this, and it's got the volume switch on it, which is fucking phenomenal, you know, now this microphone, when you set it properly, it doesn't screech and squall like the other ones do, which is fine, because, man, this is going to, like, this is, like, my new chromatic harmonica microphone. You know, it's got, uh, it's got tone like it looks. You know what I mean? Like, look at that fucking thing. Like, that is soul. Pure ghetto soul, baby. You know what I mean? Um... You'll hear it soon enough. I can't. I can't be cranking up the <coughs> the harp jams right now because uh, I want to be considerate, you know. But uh, <coughs> good lord, so fucking so amazing. And these spoons, man. Like I taught my daughter how to play the spoons tonight. I was. Uh, we were hanging out, baking cookies, and I was like, hey, you want to see something cool? And I showed her how to play the spoons, and she got, she actually got a little set of teaspoons, like little ones for her little hands, and she taped them up, and she's like, check it out, and she, like, figured out a way to do it that worked for her. Oh, it's fine. She sat through the whole night just fucking, you know, because they told her it's not important to be fancy, it's just important to get a rhythm down, you know, it doesn't even have to be perfect, it just has to, it's got to get a feel for it, you know, and she fucking rocked it, man, by the, by the end of the, my couple hour visit, she was playing the spoons, man, better than I can, you know, seven, almost eight year old mind is, it's, oh, it's hitting it. Her favorite new band is The Replacements. I couldn't fucking believe it. I think I told you that already. Her old favorite band was The Clash, but uh, The Replacements. Fucking eight year old kid. Blew me away. Anyway, I'm really, uh, obviously very tired and kind of dozing off. But, uh, Thank you for your support. Thank you for uh, subscribing to Dirty Pat Walsh here on YouTube. Uh, check out my Instagram, same handle, Dirty Pat Walsh. Or my Facebook, where I'm just Patrick Walsh. Uh, but you can join my, my music group, uh, where it's Strangers Radio, if you want. And uh, listen to my radio show every Tuesday on CFFF, Trent Radio, 92.7 FM in beautiful downtown Peterborough, operating through the, the facilities of Trent Radio. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I made a video uh, that I deleted the other day talking about upcoming shows. I completely forgot I did the skinhead reggae show already. And I was talking about how I wanted to do that. And I completely drew a blank on it. So I deleted that video. But, uh, yeah, only like four shows left. So they're going to be corkers, man. Gonna be... Bam-o, blam -o. Anyway, I got to go. This video is coming to a very swift ending. But I hope you're all good and well. Thank you for your support. For all those who helped it be a banner five-star day for Dirty Pat Walsh, thank you so much. Be well, and I'll see you again in the meth end of town on the coming day. Stay free.